This is the formula to calculate the angle between two vectors. Cosine theta, it's the dot product of the vectors x and y divided by the norm of x and the norm of y. Let's calculate the angle between the vectors i and j. The coordinates of i is 1, 0, 0, and j is 0, 1, 0. Now, let's calculate the dot product of y and j. 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. That means the dot product is 0. If you plug the value of 0 in this dot product here, does matter the value of the norm. We know that this division will be 0. But if you want to calculate the norm of i, just square each component, sum up, and take the square root. And you will see that you'll be 1. But when cos theta is equal 0, it's when theta is 9 degree. Therefore, the vectors i and j, they are perpendicular, orthogonal. See that the coordinates of the vector k is 0, 0, 1. The inner product of k and j is 0. That means they form 90 degree angle. And also the dot product of k and i is 0. Therefore, the three vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal to each other. They form a base in a three-dimensional space. We say that the vectors i, j, and k are linearly independent. That means whatever vector that you draw in this three-dimensional space can be expressed as a linear combination of i, j, and k. By the way, cos theta can only vary between minus 1 and 1. Let's take j as a reference vector. If you have a cos theta equal 1, that means that the vector has the same direction of j. If cos theta equals 0, that means the direction is the vector k, they form 9 degree. And if the cos theta is minus 1, that means that the other vector is in the opposite direction of the vector j.